you know, I was having a conversation the other day with a friend of mine, and he's like, the way you guys like have all these standards and curriculum and all this stuff, and he's like, I've always thought of snowboarding as you know, showing your individual style. And I'm like, when you watch somebody, you can tell this person's got mastery of movements or this person doesn't have mastery of movements. Think about breaking it down from there all the way down to the fundamentals. For the past few years now, the education leaders throughout the organization have been developing fundamentals that provide the specifics for the skills within the learning connection. We've been working with fundamentals or fundamental concepts throughout our organization, kind of starting in the technical skills realm. What are those basic truths that happen in any environment on any type of equipment? We started to then look at what are the fundamentals of what great teaching looks like. What's happened at Fall Conference is representatives from all over the country have come together to create a common language and a common story to what we do every day. People are very passionate about what happens divisionally, like that's where their heart is. They want to share A, what they're doing in their division, but then they also want to be inclusive of what we're trying to create. It's important that we get the opinions of everybody and then we kind of mix those around in a bowl and see which, which is the best that works for everybody. It's not that any one division has the answer. They're all coming together and finding the best resources and the best information that we have available so that we can create a common language that's our best language. National is the collective of, of the divisions and they all have a seat at the table to shape where we're at now. We're bringing in the strength of these people skills and the teaching skills and the technical skills and saying that that's where the rubber meets the road. The fundamentals really express what about each of those skills is fundamental in great teaching. And then in the certification process, the national standards provide us with the ability to measure skill development. A member comes through the process they demonstrate a variety of different assessment activities, as we call them, and we have a common framework or common language using the fundamentals to measure the learning. What having fundamentals allows us to do is to start speaking from a similar platform so that whenever we're talking, we can tie it right back to the fundamentals, we can tie it to the learning outcomes, and it'll help create that consistent message for the member so that it's clear to them how to develop as an instructor and we can do a better job coaching them moving forward. The consistency really drives it. You can really see that when we do get people in a room or on the hill from all over the country and they all are bringing the same story and they all are speaking the same language. For the first time, we'll really see what it means to be an American ski instructor, not just a Rocky Mountain instructor or an instructor from the Eastern Division. We're really shaping that American identity for ski instruction and that is really exciting stuff. It's just continuing that evolution of the American teaching system and saying what's what do our guests need that we're not just gonna task and drill them through how to learn to ski or snowboard but we want to create an environment where they get to play and learn through that exploration. It's not just about your skiing you're gonna have to be able to teach in a way that connects you with the student. If we think of the things that we can actually affect as humans lift ticket prices, the weather, all these things we can't control. But we can train to people skills. And it's the experiences with our guests, it's the guest service we provide them. If there's a lot of other variables that we can't control, let's focus on the ones we can.